You know, I was having this argument recently about with an Arsenal fan. Not even an argument actually, it was just a discussion around like Erdegaard and James Madison and the guy was like, you, you, would, nev you would always take Erdegaard over Madison. I'm like, why? I don't, you know, I, I'm not that convinced by it, personally. Erdegaard is a special, special talent. So is James Madison. Um, and I think it's more to do with the, how he's transformed a team on his own. That's the biggest fear for Spurs, like Madison's fitness, basically, you know, and maintaining that all year, because you take him out of that team, it looks totally different. But he is um, he's a top-class talent who's, you know, on the verge of becoming a world-class talent as soon as he gets onto that stage. You're always going to miss Harry Kane. Always. I th I, I've watched a lot of games this year where, <clears throat> you know, you're looking at the way that they play, the chances they're creating, and Harry would already have a bag full of goals. And he would buy into kind of Andrew's style of football. He'd be excited by the, <clears throat> you know, the, the, the high pressing energy type of football. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll never listen to anybody who tells me that this team better without Harry Kane. They, you know, a lot of fans will say that now on the basis of where they are. Harry Kane's a world-class striker, and him in this team have a chance of doing something really special. Um, so I think that's the difference that we're looking at here, but they definitely you know, would miss him still. And, well, do miss him, sorry.